Hello, we're Moss Charmley, and we're going to show you how to use the pop-up palette in Krita. Mm -hmm. It is the most underrated tool in the program of Krita. <laughs> <laughs> it's, re it's really great. It makes Krita really special. So mm -hmm. um, first, to, to actually access it, you can either tap the, um, just press the top button on your pen, or, or you can... the left mouse button. Right mouse button. Right mouse button. <laughs> right click just your mouse. Like <laughs> just so just press the button mm -hmm. make sure your pins on screen just command Z any mistake you make right <laughs> click it and here you go, there you go. here's the pop-up that. palette that's one we created which we're going to show you how to do in just a bit yeah we'll show you how to customize it too yeah exactly so here you're introduced to the pop-up palette so first uh, first off we'll show you this part this is a little triangle it's for um, color you can do you know hue and saturation right here and you can move it around which is also really cool very very cool um next you have this part which is color history so it shows what colors you have used so that's really cool and it grows too the more you you know use it so yeah the longer your history is yeah the so, more colors you're gonna have so let's see i'm adding red and i pick this pencil just draw on, click it again, there it is, mm -hmm. right here. So it adds to it. Super cool. And we'll show you all the buttons too mm -hmm. with it. So um, this this is where you will find all the tools when you start making them. Maybe you should select uh, a new, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, here, this area, the tags. So that's the brush preset tab, right? Yeah. So these are tags for brushes. So you can make your own. We've made one called Heck Yeah One, and we made one Moss Charmly. Mm -hmm. So we'll show you how to do that too. So let's say there's ink, and that shows you different ink ones and erasers, so mm -hmm. ink and eraser. Um, here's some for just RGBA. Yeah. <laughs> some just random fun ones. Oops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> click again, just click again, and click pop it. Right yeah, pop right up, you can just Click all the different ones, so you can do FX, you know, mm -hmm. for effects. Okay. So you sketch anything you actually feel would be appropriate for what you're doing. Yeah. And it has ten tools that it's actually showing presently. That yeah. You'll be able to add more and customize how many, and also the size of the pop-up palette too. Yeah. So this isn't limiting at all. So. No, and we'll show you too this. Um, when you choose a pen, like right now it's this pen is chosen, mm -hmm. right here, and then it shows opacity and size. Yeah, exactly. So you can change the size you want. You can yeah. also adjust this. Adjust the pen. Yeah. Right. Adjust opacity. Yeah, it's really cool. You can actually adjust these, so say that a tool has multiple options. You can show more if you actually yeah. tick Chris, the this button little, here. Whatever that is. That's like a Oop. Nikon. <laughs> Yeah, and, it, and it'll have yeah. like opacity and size. Yeah, and you there'll can, be flow, a bunch of different ones. Yeah. It really depends upon the type of brush. Yeah, this one doesn't it. have so, it. Yeah. But it's like the basic, uh, basic, you know, digital stylus pen, you know. So there's many different. Each brush has very specific settings and are very customizable. So you'll be able to adjust any one to your specific liking. So. Yeah, when you have more of them, you can um, up and down the menu. So like say, say you want opacity lower in the menu, you can just press down and it'll be lower or higher up. Yeah. And then just press OK when you're good. Um, maybe there's another pen here. Oh, like, see, there it see is. This, there's flow. The paintbrush has mm -hmm. right flow there. and angle. Mm -hmm. So this one has a lot more options. So if you click this button here too, you'll also have um, auto spacing. This is really, really kind of neat one too. So you can do size, opacity, flow, lightness, strength, and angle, and you can add these too. So and then press OK. And you, yeah, and you're just cool with that. There you go. So next thing on this pop-up palette. Um, let's see. Okay, we've got this. This is really neat. This will rotate your canvas. Yeah. So you just hold down this circle, but when you do, it's going to sort of be transparent. Yeah. And you didn't do anything wrong. It might seem like it when you hold it down, but you can move it and it kind of does um, the preview little... of your own image. Yeah, and so it has that magnetic that. lock, kind yeah. of that snaps to mm -hmm. each thing. So you could just press it anywhere. And leave it. And leave it, and then just sort of work on it. Yeah press anywhere, leave it, work on it. 
What's really neat too, you press the circle and it will just make it right to where it was before. So it straightens it up. So you just have to press it again and it's there. That's super cool. Yeah, <laughs> it's really <laughs> neat. So we went over the little thing here, got a little tag button. Um, next is um, this right here. This this deletes your colors. Your history. Your color history. Right. Yes. Yeah, doesn't it like so, reboot it? So yeah, you're gonna you're gonna see this. This will delete your color history. Mm -hmm. Boop, and it's gone. There it is. No color history. No color history. So you'll be fresh to start a new color history. But also when you um, delete your picture or you know restart. You know, upload your picture again. This this won't be here, so it's good to have like a, a palette you made yourself mm -hmm. too. So yeah. you keep can definitely have that. Yeah, keep that in mind to make your own little digital palette. Mm -hmm. um, this button right here, just kind of uh, I'll show you in a better place so you can see it better. This button right here, this will flip your image. Ooh. <laughs> and you can move your image. And it flipped it. It, fl it flips it. <laughs> It flips way it. over there. Yeah, way over there. But you can move the side button and just sort of, you know, the sidebar. Yeah. And then flip it. You know, flip it back. That's nice. So that's a really helpful tool. Also here, this this slider bar, this will make it this will zoom in, zoom out. Mm -hmm. Especially useful. Yeah. Say you want to go back to its uh, you know, original size, you can just press the hundred percent. Yes, right. And here. it'll automatically just <laughs> pop into its actual 100%. You know, yeah. 100% now, size. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. That, yeah. Th this part here, um, when you press this, it'll it'll make all of the side parts go away. So it'll just it's be like canvas. canvas. Only, right? yeah, yeah, canvas mm -hmm. only. So, yeah. so press that. It's just There's canvas. nothing on the canvas. And nothing all. else. So it'll nothing be just else. you and your palette. Nothing else That's to it. bother and you. And then that'll go away. So it's just you and your art. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of the reason why I think this even exists, so that you can actually work on just having it blank, you have no other visual distractions. Yeah. And if you want, you know, hotkeys, of course, are, are a lot, to, you know, that you're going to have to remember and know with most programs. But this is definitely something that's more visual. So this is definitely the, the reason why I think this is made. So yeah. that, you know, you can just have it just a nice blank canvas and focus on only what you need to. Yeah. So it's super cool. Super really cool. And this part right here, this button, this will make this bar disappear. So you click on it and it'll just, you know, give you less room. You don't see it anymore. Yeah. And this also, this toggles this bar, the, the um, sort of size and opacity and flow, the information about each brush you're mm -hmm. using. Mm -hmm. So that'll toggle that so out. Just, yeah, so you can just literally be super minimalistic yeah. if you want to. So here we're gonna go right back to Back to Krita. So everything went back and the whole thing now is back, back to, to where it is. Back to where it is. Yeah. So next up, we're gonna show you how to customize this. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna to have to go up to Krita, all the way up into the bar settings. Right in Krita. Yeah, and then uh, Windows is different. I think it's actually in settings itself. It's like manage Krita, I think it's, that's yeah. what it's called. We're but using it, a Mac, so yeah. it's different. So you just wanna hit Krita. Mm -hmm. right up there and then you want to go to preferences right and once the preferences open up what you're going to be able to do go all is, see yeah. all the way down and it's on pop-up palette and see right here you can maximum number of brush presets so we had it on 10 so there were 10 little circles of um of rings of, of what yeah, tools yeah, you yeah, wanted yeah. to use this maximizes it so so it's you 45 can, is the maximum we yeah, found out, right? Yeah, we tested yeah. the maximum is 45 and the lowest is one. Mm -hmm. So check it out. You could just like you can you can Go use infinitely. the arrows yeah. till it just stops. There you go. So it stops at 45. You could so. also just type one in, right? Yeah, you could just type it in. <laughs> type in one at 15. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cool. so you don't have to worry about it. And then this part. This changes the size of the palette. Yeah. The palette the slot size. count inside of the palette. This will change the actual size of it. So sometimes, say you want it smaller, you can actually change it and make it much smaller. Or you can make it larger, depending mm -hmm. upon what you want. It's customizable. <laughs> so when you're done, you, you we're going to show you what um, what it's like to have 45 brush, 45 yeah. tools in the in the palette, mm -hmm. which is is really funny. Just just mm -hmm. to show you. Be overwhelming. It'll be overwhelming. Maybe not. But you know, I mean, you could just have one. Yeah. You have everything you'd want to have in just one spot. So give it a shot. Press OK. Mm -hmm. Press your pop-up palette again. Mm -hmm. 
Here we yeah, go. Ooh, Look at that. It is serious inundating. A <laughs> little bit, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it shows but you. It's so. got everything you need. Yeah, you it know? does. So yeah. you can keep. So this is it's all, like all in sketch, all in ink. Yeah. So what's kind of available to you. Mm-hmm. So, and we'll change it back. So. You can make your own too, right? Yes. So there we go. Yes, so you can make your own. Yeah. The cool thing about this uh, program is that say you wanted to create your own presets for uh, brush, pre- brush presets, if we actually go up to... Uh, oh, let, let's change oh, it back oh, uh, sorry, first. Sorry, right. So let's, we're, to change it back, um, we're going to go back to Krita. We'll go to Preferences, and we'll be back here, and you could just type in... 10. So, and then press OK. And then, it's, and then right. that's easy, that's we're easier. we're back to not being <laughs> not being big. too many. <laughs> I love these icons they've made for these. I know they, they really are beautiful. This is so attuned to just a visual IQ. Just how you everything is so visual. It, it's really it's it's a wonderful way to to work. Yeah. Know, the way it is you know very visually. Yeah. Out, so, okay. Let's We're going to make our own, right? Yes. Okay, let's do this. So here so. we are up here. <laughs> so uh, any of the brushes that you select or say you have favorites within these brush presets, uh, what you will actually do is you can just say, okay, I like this one right here. Basic five size opacity, right? Yeah. You can actually left click this and assign oh, it. Oh, right click. Oh, sorry. Right click. That was dyslexic. <laughs> Always. <laughs> okay, so right click on the mouse uh, and you're going to say assign to a tag, right? Um, the funny thing is, say you want to create a tag of your own. Well, you can come down here and say, I want a new tag. So you select this and call it something. We've already made one called Heck Yeah. So, but you can make your own. Just fill it in right here and you press the plus one. So we've already done that. So we're going to hit Heck Yeah, which means we've, we're assigning this brush, as I said, to Heck Yeah. Now we actually will have that. So the wonderful thing about Krita is that it automatically duplicates the brush you've selected. So when you actually go and call up your brush menu, say you want to change its presets, and you say, okay, I'm coming down to heck yeah. Heck yeah. Okay, we added this one right here, right? Yeah, so there so it is. So we added this, which is nice. So we added that, and it's not lost, and it's in the other presets. So, so that's how to add it if you already yeah. have one. We yeah. should show how to make it. Oh, you want to make, make it from scratch? Let's make it from okay, scratch. Okay, from scratch. Okay. So uh, let's just, for one, what I would do is actually pick a brush. This is the fastest and easiest way. Everybody wants an eraser. So we're actually going to select one of these brushes, right? Yeah. We're going to use the right mouse key and assign it to a tag, right? We don't have a tag. A tag is just another word for a packet, a bundle, you know, a bushel. <laughs> you know, uh, it's basically just, you know, a section of organizing your brushes in a specific way. So we're going to create a new tag here. So we're going to click that and let's call this the new one for the viewers. The Doesn't new have to be one. one. It's called the new one. <laughs> okay, then we press plus, right? Because right. we're adding one, we're creating one. There we go. The weird thing is, okay, what just happened? Just disappeared. Well, if we check this, there are the down here is the one called the new the one. The new one. <laughs> and in it is the eraser. What? <laughs> that means that from this point, right? It's actually kind of user friendly once you really find out how to be his friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It really is. <laughs> it's taken us a while. It took us a lot. bit to figure this out because the manuals are very confusing when you have to read them. <laughs> yeah, it, it's kind so, of yeah. it's kind of like reading a user yeah. agreement. You just you just what? I don't have it in me. Dude. <laughs> so okay. So, as I said before, you select the brush you want. Say it's a nice charcoal or something like this. Really nice. You right, right click. Mouse, right, ma- yeah, right, right click mouse. Right mouse click. Stick it in the, uh, you know. The, the sign tag that you made. That you made. Like the new Stick one. Stick it in there. And Look there it is. It Pops appears. Up. It's there. Easy breezy. You can go on forever or actually you can go on for 45 times. <laughs> but you can create multiple ones and organize this any way you like. You could actually, you know, say I want... Say it's you, like my inks, my pencils, my pens, whatever you want, my paintbrushes. I mean, you can be completely unique. 
and just create ones that are specific to you and a specific use. It is ultimately endless because you can actually add 45 different brushes and you can actually even change icons and do so many different things yeah. to customize this pop-up palette. Ooh, yeah, you can even, you know, have, have a palette just for comic book making or... Yeah, right? That's yeah. right. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can actually... It's such a nice and easy way to good, just... Good point. That's right? really cool. Specifically yeah. for a job. Like, I just want to do backgrounds, right? Like yeah. I'm saying. It's like, you can totally customize this in a very easy way that... that you know, this is an asset that should be used a lot in Krita, I think. Yeah, the, and it's this is so very good. easily overlooked. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so we highly, highly recommend using this. Yeah. So if you do, you know, just give it a chance and and, and try it out because it is something that really is a, a very, very wonderful tool that the people at Krita have made. You know, so just to let you know. Yeah. So give it a try. And, uh, you know, we hope you enjoy this. Yeah, have fun, experiment, and... Keep arting. Keep arting. <laughs> That's all you got to say. Just keep arting, right? Just keep arting. It's all about just making it ugly until it's not. Yeah. Right? <laughs> That's it, That's pretty it. much. You got to keep going and just, keep just trying. Keep, just right? keep trying. Let's ju just keep going. So, okay. <laughs> Moss Charmly out, eh? Moss Charmly out. Okay, we're out. Here we go with the hand, with the bump, and the We thing. don't know how to we do this yet. We don't know how to yet, do this, but, but we'll, there will we'll be a fade. It it's going to fade. It's right? going to eventually fade. <laughs> it's fading now. Into the, the darkness. Into the abyss. Right.